Welcome to a proof that the null space of a matrix is a subspace. To begin, let A be an M by N matrix. Then the null space of A is a set of all vectors X in Rn such that matrix A times vector X equals the zero vector. And there are several ways to denote the null space of a matrix shown here. The null space of A is a subspace of Rn. To prove this, we first need to show that the null space of A is a subset of Rn. By definition, the null space of A is a subset of Rn, since the null space is a set of all vectors in Rn, such that matrix A times vector X equals the zero vector. So from here, in order to prove the null space is a subspace of Rn, we need to satisfy the subspace axioms, which there are three of. Number one, the zero vector of Rn is in the subset. Number two, the subset is closed under addition. And number three, this subset is closed under scalar multiplication. Let's begin by proving the null space contains a zero vector. Since matrix A times a zero vector is equal to the zero vector, we know the zero vector must be in the null space of A. Number two, let's show the null space is closed under addition, which means if vectors U and V are in the null space of A, then the sum of vectors U and V must also be in the null space of A. So if we let vectors u and v be in the null space of A, we know A times vector u is equal to the zero vector, and we know A times vector v is equal to the zero vector. And now if we consider matrix A times the sum of vectors u and v, this is equal to matrix A times vector u plus A times vector v, where we know these two products are equal to the zero vectors, and the sum of two zero vectors is equal to the zero vector, showing the sum of vectors u and v is in the null space of A. And then finally we need to show the null space is closed under scalar multiplication, which means if vector u is in the null space of A and c is any real number, then c times vector u is in the null space of A. Well, we know that a times vector u is equal to the zero vector, and now if we consider a times the product of c and vector u, we can rewrite this as c times matrix A times vector u, and we know a times vector u is equal to the zero vector, c times the zero vector is equal to the zero vector, and therefore c times vector u is in the null space of A, which proves the null space of A is a subspace of Rn. In the next lesson on null space, we will determine how to check to see if a given vector is in the null space of a matrix, how to find the spanning set of a null space, and also how to find a basis for a null space. I hope you found this helpful.